so everyone like very familiar with this object reference not set to an instance of an object so if you see like it's uh, for with visual studio working with the c sharp uh, or or like this is this is very common error when you are trying to access any object class or or on anything that is not initiated or or its value is null and you are trying to access its property let's see uh, what happening in my code okay so there is few things that you can you can understand easily like if you see like uh, on, on my index uh, we have a my class here with the one property id and what i am doing here i'm setting a my class equals to null and then then just after it i'm trying to set my class dot id equals to zero so so this is basically happening because uh, my class object is null and it, it you cannot set something uh, like a uh, like a property or anything inside like if something is null or it's, it's there is no value of that object it should have a default initiated or something so yeah uh, like try like if you are something uh, something doing another way to understand this like if you are doing get database get data from database suppose you you have this this function somewhere written and it's returning co connected with your database and it's getting you the data and why why the reason something happened in the, your database the data didn't look good or something happened and you are not getting anything and you are trying to do this so before before accessing if you are if you are uncertain with uh, any object that it may happen sometimes it's uh, may there is a may chances of uh, the this this class may be come null the data is not available in the database so every time you are initiating something every time you are accessing something outside like that you are not aware of what's going to happen like you are calling an api or you are you are accessing any data any object that could be a null there is a little uh, like a very uh, if there is like a 0.1% of chance to getting a null value then make sure you are checking that like if uh, here I should do like my class I must check this my class not equals to null before doing anything so so it's it's going to be if something happened like what is coming there uh, uh it's no matter for now because i like what i did so far i just did uh, like my class not equals to null so i just checking it it's not going to fail over here okay so let's uh, return none so in case and and this this way you can also manage this what happen if it's null uh, return okay So, so this is going to handle right now. If if it's not, uh, you are not checking this value is null or not or something. If you're if you're doing like a sub property, like I I let's 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 do something something more like public a class I'm creating sub class sub class public my number. So so the, here. And I'm, I'm what I'm doing um, like sometime it happened too like people forgot to check the sub sub values okay this case let's see this scenario so uh, if if you're trying to access this value like this class so so here like you check this and you are trying to access sub class so you you must make like you you have to make sure that you are also validating this guy as well my class dot subclass proportional so whenever you are trying to access anything that there is a there is a chances of getting a null value please make sure you are testing it like you are checking somewhere using if else condition handling your try catch exception something so you better know like why this came because if you sometimes see like a loss of message coming in your log file you're getting null reference object not set to instance of object so it will be irritating for anyone because you cannot identify where from where it's coming so better to log it 
better to check everywhere every position where you find out like sometimes it happen like if you are doing uh let's see you have you have a string value and like you see uh, we we have this guy and we have a string my name and and what you are trying to do here is just uh, where my wire name equals to you want a lower like a like like a upper case and lower case you want to convert that my class dot subclass dot uh, my name so from till here because you already checked this so till here it's good if it's null it's going to be null but suppose you did something like dot trim it's it gonna fail it gonna fail 100 percent yes it's not going to work you must have to check this value should not be null before checking before doing a trim dot to lower dot to upper if you are applying anything must check this should not be null so if, if for, for this case you have to check if this is not null or another way of doing this is if you want to do a single line str equals to so you can do something like this not equals to null if it's not a question null, then use this operator that called uh, you can use in a single line so you just go and um, put this guy because it's not null here so you can apply anything without any uh, issue and if it's null then go back and just don't do anything okay So it's something like this so you written everything in the single line and, and now it's not gonna fail but if you are doing directly without checking this or or this or maybe you are not checking this null values so it, it can happen anywhere if you are just checking this guy it may happen because you are accessing this this attribute so make sure you are checking all the all all the uh, instances if you think uh, there's a 0.0.1% chance of getting a null value I, I hope you understand what does it mean like when you get object reference not set to instance of object error this is very common and I guess I, I was looking into like more than 60,000 um, like, uh, like questions available over the internet people are asking about it why this is happening thank you so much bye bye